Okay, for this project, I'm using a size, let's see, H. It is a five millimeter crochet hook. And I'm using um, Caron Simply Soft. It's a uh, worsted weight four ply acrylic. Any four ply yarn will do. Um, I got three different colors of it. But you can use as many colors as you want. You can just use one if you want to, it's up to you. Okay, first you want to start off. I'm starting off with a chain of 46, but you can certainly make it bigger or smaller. The vintage ripple is made in multiples of nine plus one for the turning chain. Okay, you want to do one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, and we remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So that's one. We want to do four single crochets in a row. So that's one, one in the next, it's two. Three and four, and then in the next stitch, we want to put three single crochets all in the same stitch one, two, three. And now we want to put one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. So go on to the next and do one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the next stitch is going to get three single crochets all in the same stitch. One, two, Three. What that's doing is forming the points. Now one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three single crochets all in the next stitch. One, two, three. One single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, three single crochets in each of, in the next stitch. Three in the same stitch. Just one, two, three. One single crochet in each of the next eight. Two, three. Seven, eight, one, or three single crochets all into the next stitch. One, two, three, and then you should have four stitches left. One single crochet in each of them to match the other side. Two, three. So that's what you have so far. So now you want to chain one and turn your work. Okay, now once we turned, uh, we're going to be working in the back loops right now. So when you work in in the stitch, you just work in the the back loop of each stitch, like back here. You can see it from my dark yarn. Um, not the front, it's going to create a little bit of a ridge on the front and that's what we want. So we want to skip, working in the back loops from now on, we want to skip this first stitch right here and in the next one we're going to do a single crochet. We're going to do 
one single crochet in each of the next four skipping this first one so don't go into this one just working in the back loops we just start right here and do one single crochet in the next four in the back loops two three four now if you didn't want to work in the back loops it's still going to turn out it's just not going to have the ridges and stuff that make it look interesting so now in the next stitch working in the back loop only three single crochets in that same stitch one two and three one single crochet and each of the next four stitches working in the back loops one two my yarn is dark I'm sorry three four now we're gonna skip two stitches and single crochet one and single crochet in the next four back loops only skipping skipping these next two stitches so we're just going to jump right over to the third one there and single crochet in the back and you need to do that in the next four stitches there's two three and four skipping them two stitches as you can see it made another point kind of like a chevron three stitches all in the same stitch now three single crochets all in the same back loops only one two three one single crochet in each of the next four stitches working in the back loop only one two three Four, skip two stitches, single crochet once in the next four, back loops only. Two, three, four, three single crochets all in the same stitch. One, two, three. One single crochet into the next four stitches, back loops only. One, two, three, four. Skip your next two stitches. One single crochet in each of the next four. One, two, three, four three single crochets all in the same stitch three one single crochet in each of the next four stitches remember we're still working in the back loops skip two stitches one single crochet in each of the next four split my yarn three single crochets all in the same stitch one two three one single crochet and then next one into the next four, two, three, four. I made it to the end of the third row, and remember there's going to be a stitch left, the turn chain, and a stitch. And that's fine. That's what we want. So now we're just going to turn our work without doing any chains at all. And now we're going to go into the back loop of the very first stitch. We're going to do three slip stitches in a row. And we're going to go in the back loop of the very first one. 
So we're going to go right into it and slip stitch. And then in the next one and slip stitch. And then in the next one and slip stitch. And remember, we're just working in the back loops. We're not working just the back loop only. Now, from here now, we're going to do some triple crochets. So we're going to do a chain three. On chain four, I'm sorry. Two, three. Chain four. And now we're going to do, um, this counts as our first triple crochet. So now we're going to do a triple into the next stitch. So we yarn over twice in the back loop. Go ahead and do our triple crochet. Yarn over twice. Go into the back loop. And go ahead and pull through. It'll be a total of three times. Just like that. Now into that we got three counting this chain right here. We got three triple crochets in a row. Now in the next stitch we want to put three triple crochets all into the same stitch. One, two, three. There's one. Two. And three. And now we want to put one triple crochet in each of the next three stitches working in the back loops. So one in each of the next three. Like that. So we got three triples and then three triples in the same stitch and then three triples down. So now what we want to do is we want to skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then in the next one we're going to do a triple crochet. So skip four. Remember we're still working in the back loops. Do a triple. And then we want to do a triple on the next stitch. And then one in the next. So that's three triple crochets in a row. And then we want to put three triple crochets all into the same stitch on the next one. And then we want to put one triple crochet in each of the next three stitches. Still working in the back loops. And that's the repeat. And now we're going to skip four stitches and then do this again. Um, originally, I, th I think the Vintage Fan calls for like a double, triple, or a triple, triple, or something. But I want to do it smaller because otherwise you're openings get to be quite large. Probably going to have to line this bag anyways, but I didn't want to have big gaping holes in it, so I just kind of shortened it down. And it's going to turn out just fine this way. So just go ahead and repeat this all the way to the end. Made it all the way to the end, and you'll have um, two stitches left, not counting the turn chain there. So there's your turn chain, and then these two because we skipped two on the other side. So now I'm going to switch colors. So what I want to do is just, after I finish my last triple crochet, just clip my yarn. Leave enough tail that you can t sew it in later in this tie off. Like that. And to switch colors, this is the repeat from now on, what we just did. So we're just going to be doing rows of all these stitches. But this is how you're going to switch colors, if you want to switch colors. Um, tie off and then flip it over to where the wrong side's facing you. And start with a slip knot of your next color. And go into the... We're still working in back loops. We're always working in back loops from now on. Go into the back loop of the first stitch. And then put your slip knot on your hook. And just go ahead and pull it through and then go through that slip knot and that'll start off with a new color. And you'll be able to um, sew in these tails later. 
So what you want to do is we're going to do um, one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. So we're going to go right back into this stitch we just started with and that's going to be our first one. A single crochet. Then we're going to single crochet. Remember we're working in the max until we have four in a row. Kind of just hiding that tail there a little bit. Okay, and once you got four single crochets in a row, we're going to do three single crochets all in the next stitch. There's one, two, and three. Let me clip this tail so it's not confusing anybody. It's starting to confuse me. Okay, and then we'll do one. I got a mess up here. One single crochet in each of the next four stitches, or in the next eight stitches. I'm sorry, we're doing like we're doing the very first row. So one single crochet in each of the next eight. Eight, and then three single crochets all into the next stitch. One, two, three, and then one single crochet in the next eight. So we're just going to repeat this until we get to the end. Okay, I made it to the end, and there should be four stitches left for four single crochets, and that last one is going to go into the top of the chain four from the previous row. So now we're going to chain one and turn. Now you want to skip the first stitch and single crochet in the next four. Two, three, four and then we want to put three single crochets one in the same stitch two three now we want a single crochet one in each of the next four one two three four skip two stitches single crochet in the next four and remember we're always working in the back loops on every row on every stitch four three single crochets all in the same stitch one two three single crochet one in each of the next four one two three, four, skip two, single crochet, one in each of the next four, one, two, three, four, three single crochets. So we're just going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end. Okay, I made it to the end again, and remember you're going to have one stitch left because we skipped a stitch in the beginning down there. And now we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to repeat what we just did again, just like we did down here. So skip the first stitch, single crochet one in each of the next four. One, two, three, four, single crochet three times and then next stitch, one, two, three, one single crochet in each of the next four, one, 
two, three, four, skip two, one single crochet in each of the next four, one, two, three, four, three single crochets in the next. So we're just going to repeat this to the end. Okay, I made it to the end again. Not counting that turn chain, you'll have one left. Now we're going to, without chaining, we're going to turn our work. So now we want to slip stitch oh, into um, slip stitch three stitches. Count where we want to start in this very first one, going in the back loop. So, two. Two, three, chain four, one, two, three. Counts as our first triple. Now we want to do a triple crochet in the next stitch. One in the next, still working in the back loops. And then in the next stitch we'll do three. All in the same stitch. One. Two, three, and then one triple crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Oh, splitting my yarn. Now we did that first shell stitch, or whatever you want to call this, fan. Skip four this time, and we're going to repeat our pattern. So skip four, one, all the way to the end, and then we're going to change colors if you want, or however you're doing your colors, and do another row, and just keep doing these rows. It's really easy. It looks complicated, but it's not. It's real simple. Um, and I'm just going to keep doing this for a while. And I don't know how many rows I'm going to do. I'm going to do quite a few because I'm going to fold mine and then have a flap on it to the same. And then I'll think I'll put some kind of edge around it to make it straight. I don't know yet. I'm going to think about it. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing rows. And I'll let you know here in just a few seconds or a few minutes how many I do total. Okay, I went ahead and did 10 rows of this. And you could do more if you want. I still gotta hide some tails, but what's gonna happen is it's gonna, I'm gonna do it kind of like this. Fold it. And then it's gonna have like a little flap here. But first thing I need to do is I need to try to, I'm gonna try to get these edges straightened out so we can sew it together a little bit better. So. What I'm going to do is, you can tell kind of that there's a good side and then there's a side that, well they're both good, but there's a side that um, isn't quite, I don't know, I wouldn't say quite as favorable, some people might like it, but you pick which side that you want the best, which one you want to be the front of your work. And I'm going to go around these edges here. So whatever you want the front to be, put that facing you. And then I'm going to start with the slip knot on my hook. And then I'm just going to start right up here in the corner. Right here. And I'm going to go through the stitch on my hook. Okay. Now I'm going to go right back in that same stitch. And I'm going to do a single crochet. And then I'm going to do a chain two. One, two. And then I'm going to jump to this other, you can see how it kind of dips in a little bit. I'm going to jump right here and go right into that stitch and do a single crochet like that. And now I'm going to do a chain four. 
and then I'm going to just stretch it here to the next point that sticks out and do a single crochet. That. And now I'm going to do a chain two and then I'm going to stretch it to this next point and do a single crochet. If you can get it in that stitch here. Then it's going to be a chain four. And I'm going to stretch it to this point. Single crochet, chain two, stretch it to this little point right here to here. And um, single crochet. Chain four, stretch it on over to here, single crochet. So I'm just going to repeat this all the way down this side, like that. and I think that that's going to work for making it straight. I'll have to go around it again, but I'm going to continue this pattern all the way down this side, and I'm going to tie off, and then I'm going to go all the way down the other side. I'm not going to do anything around the tops. Just around, just down the long sides for now. Okay, once you got both sides of the long sides done with um, this here, you want to start again with a slip knot on your hook. And then I'm going to start up here in the same stitch that we started in earlier. That single crochet that we started in. I'm going to go through a loop on my hook and then I'm going to do a single crochet through that same stitch just like before. And now where I chain two right here I want to do two single crochets for each stitch on that chain. And then I did a single crochet right here in this stitch so I just want to go ahead and do that. Now I did a four chain, so I want to do a single crochet for every one of the chains. So four of them. One, two, three, four, and then I did a single crochet right here, so I want to go ahead and make sure I go into that one. Now I have a chain two, so I want to do two single crochets. And then I want to make sure I go into that single crochet right here. And then it was a chain four, so I want to go ahead and do four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to repeat this all the way down, making sure you go into these single crochets all the way down on both sides. You went down both sides and got them straightened out. That's what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna be sewed together kind of like this. I'm gonna make my shells facing down, but you can do yours the other way if you want. So kind of like that. But before we sew it together on the sides, we have to, I'll show you how to put a quick liner in it. Okay, now I'm going to put a liner in it, and if you want to put a button on, I'm not going to sew a button on, now would be the time to sew it on before you put the liner on it. Sew it on to wherever you want to sew it, or if you want to put anything else on it. Okay, find out which side you want to use, and then we're going to need a piece of fabric. I already got mine pre-cut here. Um, you want to cut it about an inch and a half, inch to an inch and a half wider on all sides. So here's my the side that I want to be covered. And then I'm going to take this, my fabric, which I pre-cut already, and what I'm going to do is fold it over. that 
and it's going to be sewed. I'm going to have to be careful with this one, but we're going to try to sew it around this piece right here to cover up these holes. So it would be easier with the sewing machine. I don't have one. I'm going to get one sometime. Um, I like to fold it up to where I'm going to sew it. And then pin it, get some little pins, pin it in place, like that. Takes a minute to get it all straightened out here. It does me anyways. Make sure you left enough on the edge so when you fold it, it's going to cover up these big gaps. This is a really pretty stitch, but it's so gappy. Okay. And you just got to check it. Yeah, it's going to cover. Now where you pin it, it's not set in stone. You can repin it and stuff, but just give you the kind of a little bit of the gist of the idea of about where it needs to be. Okay got any more pins. I need to go to Walmart. Get me some stuff. Okay. And then I, I'm going to use a regular thread and needle. And I'm just going to start. Start anywhere you want. Probably just start right up here. Hard to get it situated. There we go. Okay. Probably just gonna start right up here in the corner. And I got it folded. So I'm just gonna go through. I got a knot at the end of my thread, and my thread is doubled. So I'm just gonna go through the piece of the fabric first. That way you can't see the knot on the other side. Now I'm just going to go along. It always takes me a long time to line a bag because I do it by hand and I'm really particular about my stitches showing through on the other side so I, I'm real careful and I'm just going to go down it and I'm sewing it to this piece right here but you don't want to go all the way to the edge because we still got to be able to single crochet it together um, in the end, that's what way we're going to sew it together. So I'm just going to carefully go along. Stitching this liner on. And if it's easier, another thing you can do is to make your crease, your folds, where you can see them better, you can get an iron and just um, iron the crease and then it stays for you really good. I'm not going to do that this time. And this is pretty much all there is to it. This is how, this is how I do it anyways. Just make sure you're leaving enough room so we can put the uh, crochet needle through the top of these. Try to keep your stitches as straight as possible. Mine aren't real straight, so... So I'm just going to do this the way down 
and all the way around. And if you know a different way of lining, you just line it however, but this bag definitely needs to be lined. So I'm going to go all the way down with this, and as I get done, I'm going to keep moving my pins and folding it. Just make sure you're folding it over enough so the edge isn't coming through. So you can't, like, if you don't fold it enough, it's going to look like that, and we don't want that. We want that to be tucked under. So that's pretty much all there is to to it. If it was already put together, it'd be uh, I'd line it a different way. But since it, we could line it before we put it together, it's easier that way. So I'm just gonna keep working my way down until I get all the way around with this liner, and then we will sew it together. Put a strap on it. Okay, I got my piece, the lining on my piece, like that, got it all sewed up, so now I'm going to sew up the sides, I'm going to fold it the way I want it, I think I'm going to put it about like that, so, okay, the way I'm going to sew it is, once I get it where I want it, I'm going to start right down here, and I'm going to single crochet up, and then I'm going to continue single crocheting up this side, and I'm going to single crochet down the front part here and then back around and then back around and sew these sides together. So make sure you get it just about straight exactly where you want it and it might help to pin it in place until you get around a single crochet in it. That might be what I'm going to do. Just pin the side over here so this side doesn't move. Just pin in it. There. Okay. I'm just going to start with the slip knot on my hook. And I'm just going to start in the bottom two stitches. Pull through that knot on my hook. And I'm going to go back into the same oh stitch. Single crochet. And a single crochet, matching stitches, all the way up the side. I go in a stitch on this one, and a stitch on the other piece, and single crochet. And if you want to, I think that you could slip stitch it together too if you wanted to, it would probably be okay. But, I'm going to do it this way. Continue around doing single crochet one in every stitch up this side here just like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go up and around and I'm gonna be single crocheting one in every stitch all along this curve back down this side and then I'm going to sew this side together okay I finished sewing it up along the side and then I just I had a purse chain that I got off a purse old purse from a thrift store or something resale shop and I hooked it on but if you don't have a purse chain you can use any kind of handle that you want um, a long handle, short handle, whatever you want to do. And that's it. That's all there is to the bag. And I hope 
you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you were able to follow along okay. Don't forget to check out my other tutorials and my Facebook page. And until next time, have a good day.